Well, hey there, it is day five of The Artist's Way. I'm on my back porch again. Uh, I don't know where Rosalie the stray cat is, but maybe she'll come visit. Maybe Marco will come visit and watch me through the window. It was interesting. I feel like uh, it's sort of a, a combination of things that I've been reading and watching and just kind of as part of this Artist's Way process, really exploring these ideas of doing things differently and breaking out of that shadow role and understanding where my beliefs are coming from and like why I see the world in certain ways and how I limit myself, like all those things, you know, like all those things that make up the way that we see reality. And when you decide to do it differently, when you decide to like try to like live life in a new way and do things in a new way, um, it's really kind of expanding that, that, that sort of library of things you believe in. You start with like, well, there's six books on the shelf and I live my life based on these six books. And now I'm kind of expanding it to like 12 books and 24 books and 36 books. These all seem to be divisible by 12 for some reason. Today I was journaling and I was like, you know, really kind of on this idea that I was really exploring a few days ago of like, well, how do you do this? How do you do this? Like, what's the process? What are the mechanics? I'm, I'm open to the idea of changing and then how do you do it? And of course, what I kind of got a few days ago was of course that it takes practice. You practice this every day. And so then I guess I kind of had to clarify the question of like, well, what exactly do I practice? And that's what I learned today is the mechanics of practice. And so right now I'm kind of seeing it as this three-step process. This is not anything new in that I've seen this talked about when people talk about manifestation and they talk about the law of attraction and they talk about abundance and they talk about living in flow, like all of these ideas, um, sync up with those uh, points of view as well, which is, I guess, kind of validating, right? So the first step, of course, is to uh, figure out how you want to feel and then just cultivate that feeling regardless of what the physical world around you is showing as evidence. I want to be feeling financial abundance and security. And am I seeing that in my present world right now? I'm not seeing it in my bank account, if I'm being totally honest. In other ways, I definitely have a lot of abundance. I have an abundance of time. I have an abundance of freedom. I have abundance of choice. And that's great. I have not always had that. You know, recognizing the abundance that I already have in my life and then you know, being able to cultivate the freedom and the abundance that I want to feel about money as well through that. And that that's how it works is that you, we normally think of it as you get the thing and then you feel good and that's where the feelings come from, but it's, it's totally flipped. And I think a lot of people are resistant to that. I've always been very resistant to the idea that you actually have to feel how you want to feel first. And then it's kind of like the world has to corroborate to match your feelings, which is a, uh, it's something I'm experimenting with because there's a part of me that's still kind of is feeling some doubt about that. But at this point, not believing in that hasn't gotten me very far. And every time I have believed in that, it's gotten me somewhere. So uh, I'm gonna have to sacrifice the fact that it sounds a little bit weird to embrace the fact that it might work. And so the second step beyond feeling good and then letting the world kind of uh, show you the evidence of how you feel is action. And that's something I've been getting from so many different sources right now, from mundane things like podcasts I've been listening to, to like actual spiritual guidance, to just like messages that I've been hearing randomly is that like nothing can happen unless you are in a state of action. You can't be sitting at home waiting for it to show up, waiting for it to ring your doorbell. Like it's never going to happen. And when we feel stuck and we feel scared and we feel unsure, often our first instinct is to just not move and to just not do anything. And if it's not an instinct, it's just a... Uh, you know, we, we can't move, we can't find a way to, to function and take a next step. Recognizing that action is the only way that the universe can kind of show you that evidence of what you want in your life. It can't deliver it to you. You have to sort of go out into the world and find it and connect with it. And it, it's not that you have to go hunting for it. This isn't like a treasure hunt. It's just you, you can't stay home and hide out from all of the sources of the thing that you're looking for. And um, that can be a big step and can be kind of scary. And I know I've struggled with that in the last couple of months. I've, uh, I've definitely played the hermit sometimes and it's only made me stagnant. But it's also been what I needed. And I think I wasn't gonna be able to hear all of this unless I slowed down and stayed home and listened. So the third thing uh, which really kind of relates to this and I've kind of already uh, talked about is um, you know, you have to leave to receive. You have to leave your house to receive this. And so it all really ties together, right? Choose the feeling you want to feel, and then you get into a state of action, and, and you get out of your comfort zone, and you get out of your house, and you get out of hiding in that state of action, and that, that kind of formula brings you what you're looking for. And so that's what I'm experimenting with right now. And so if that sounds crazy to you, and that sounds like woo-woo bullshit, then like, let's see what happens. Use my experiment as an experiment of your own, and let's see if this works. 
Um, and if it has to be reworked in some way, or if I find that like there's a different approach that works better, or there's something I'm forgetting, then I'll find that and I'll share that with you. And we can kind of do this experiment together to see if these ideas work. So, um, so stay tuned for day six. Who knows what will come up then? Uh, anyway, thanks. Bye.